is huge. At times like this, you just pray that there's no pipes burst. The toilet's still not flushing. What? Oh, you're joking. Well, when it rains, it pours, don't it? Things are not going well. Off for a night out in a van. Well, not a night out, a night in a site. Can't wait. It's been so long. Actually, the last time we was away in the van was the 27th of October. And it's now the 21st of January. So three months. I've driven it a few times since then, obviously. But to actually be away in it, it's going to feel really strange. And it's horrible sat in here. Usual routine. Come down here. Put all the stuff in the van. And uh, now I'm going to go and get Kirsty and the dogs. And we're off to... See the wizard. Of the van. I only just made that. I think I'm going to have to back up a bit because I don't want to. Um, Anyone to trip over that? <laughs> wow. Well. The wheel's parked on the lead now. Where's the keys? I can't find them anywhere. Oh. You're joking. Oh. <laughs> Kirsty's new wellies that I got for Christmas. I said you was going to see the wizard, didn't I? <laughs> God, we're wizard of Oslo. Brought over Dorothy's shoes. Ah. Oh. You going past the electric? Just check get driven over now. Yeah. Things are not going well. The first time out and nothing's going right. The taps over there are frozen. I found a tap that ain't frozen, I've just looks like I've had an accident. It went everywhere.
You can see my feet are soaked, my trousers are soaked, and Kirsty's just informed me that we've got the E517H code. How's it going? Waiting, Waiting for the 15 minutes. Well, when it rains, it pours, don't it? <laughs> so we finally got some heat going. Oh, it's lovely. The heat's going, the tea's brewing, everything's working. Perfectly fine. You always worry about something that's going to be, because it's been so long, like I said, 28th of October was the last time we was in the van. It was, um, oh, and we had, and I'm going to go to the chippy in a minute, so it's a fish and chip run video. Milk. That means get out of the way. Um, yeah, toilet's frozen. Must be in a little bit. I mean, it's always, well, I always forget to completely drain the toilet. Do the taps, but always forget the, the toilet. And so there's probably a little bit of uh, ice stuck in the pipe. Hopefully it won't um, expand and break it. The bench seat toilet, so God knows where all the piping is for that. You got half a chance with the other toilets, but these, let's see if it works anyway. Yeah, frozen solid. Oh, well, hopefully the uh, bit of warmth getting in there should sort that out. A nice 16 degrees now. We've not said where we are. Well, I have not said where we are. We've actually probably been to this site more times than any other site, more than Pinewoods. Have we? I reckon. When we first got the Bolero, we oh, used to yeah. come here a lot. Yeah. Swaffham, Breckland Meadows. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's... Um, we was here last March, and it's now January the 20th. It's definitely well looked after. It looks yeah. nice, doesn't it? It is, it is a tidy, nice... Tidy, all the grass is cut and... Yeah, yeah. But I think they're doing a lot of bits and bobs. Yeah. Very well laid out. That bit in the summer, you know, when we've been here in the summer, over the back there, the, um, oh, I always do that. When all this is grown. There's loads of flowers uh, in there. Yeah, it? yeah. It's, Covered in it, butterflies last time. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, we've now got no hot water. And I've had it on hot. I'll put it on, uh, not eco, put it on hot. Yeah. And that's been on for a good half an hour now. No more, would you say? About 45 minutes it's been on. Yeah. And it still ain't got hot. Ah. So. Maybe because the heating's on. Maybe because no, the if you put it. High. Well, if you put it on to boost, it compensates. It, oh. it turns the heating off. Okay. To boost the water. But it's not on boost, it's on hot. At times like this, you just pray that there's no pipes burst. The toilet's still not flushing. Do you want to have a look underneath the seat? I'm too scared to look underneath. I'll wait till we're all out tomorrow. We're only in it for the night and then just hope that there's no wet underneath the seat anywhere. Any pipes gone. But I mean, I, I drained down. I, I just if it was didn't... leaking, you'd hear the pump go, wouldn't you? Yeah, if, exactly. If there, was a, if there was a leak, the pump would be pulsing. That was freezing. We have to get it off my back. That was so cold. The wind. It's 
taking ages. I mean, I know it's warmer in here than it was, but it feels like it's taking ages to heat Yeah, up. it's because of the wind. It's ferocious Should winds out there. The screen cover on? Yeah, could do, yeah. Hold up, I've got a... Whoa, size of that. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's huge. We don't mind that, though. go and dump the rubbish now and then walk down to Tesco which is the convenient thing about this site it's a nice walk takes about 15 minutes it's not as muddy but I thought it would be for those of you that have recently joined this channel we've came we've been to that site Breckland Meadows 10 times yeah. 15 times maybe a lot more we've done this walk along this railway track plenty of times Gone in there to get some cake for later. <laughs> Just a 15 minute walk back to the site now. We pay 25 quid by the way, and that does have facilities. That they're actually nice facilities, nice showers and toilets. The location where we are is literally Swaffham's right in the middle of Norfolk. You can get to the North Norfolk coast from here in about Nah, 45 minutes. How's the boots? Yeah, still intact. <laughs> Lucky it didn't split, really. Yeah, these are good boots as well. For my Christmas present. Well, one of your Christmas presents, oh, yeah. yeah. Didn't just get your pair of wellies for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I know. But I know they're, they're good wellies, though. Fancy that. So we run over the wellies. Run oh, over right. the... Where's the we coming in? I, you run over the I run over the wellies over because the... I parked on the... Electrical cable. Electric cable that you put in the way when I no, reversed. I didn't put it there. Which was too short to reach the bollard. Then why is that? Because I parked, didn't park close enough. Then the heater wouldn't work. Then the toilet froze, or was froze. What else happened today? Well, today ain't over with yet. Don't say anything. What else happened? Uh, there was something else. Yeah, the code, the error code. Error code. That cleared, that's fine. Toilet. Toilet, yeah, I've said that. My wellies and the electrical cable. Electric cable didn't, no, something else. There was something else anyway. Well, that's enough, isn't it? That's four things. Yeah, and it's only three o'clock. Just feels funny being out in the van. Van's back. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say, we, um, we've noticed on the new Vantage Neo, they um, done a, they've done a couple of different things. They've put the, these lights they've got rid of. Um, there's now sort of lighting underneath here, or sorry, across the top somewhere. Um, ambient lighting is very nice. And what they've done is they've put another cupboard on the end there. So we've got one, two, three, four, and they've put five, another one on the end there um, with a light underneath it. So it lights up this area, although See, we have got a light that reaches up to about here, so halfway. Yeah, that would make sense. But we find that this bit here is a little bit dark at night, yeah. isn't it? You can have these, what people have done, is have these individual. So instead of putting, if I'll show you, we put on, as you can see, it lights up the whole area. Haven't they got that on one, that on one? Yeah, yeah, they, on yeah, they, yeah, some, but you've, you've got to ask that from new or oh. if we take it back you know they'd probably do it you have like a little rocker switch put on there and then up there and then oh yeah rockers is there. yeah on that one or there's one at the back there like that which we've I've, when we took the advantage back to have the 
sorry, when we took the van back to Vantage to have the extra solar panel put on and the what else, the plug socket and stuff, other stuff we did. I was going to ask him about that, but I totally forgot. <laughs> Better be a nice a trip to Vantage. Yeah. yeah, but there, the only thing is, if we were standing here, you know, you wouldn't be able to see out the door. But it don't matter unless you went like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it comes out that far. So yeah, I think it comes to about here. No, it would make more sense. You'd have more. Yeah, and a little well. light under there, more storage, and another light here. Yeah. 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 Good idea. Yeah. But we do love the layout that we've got. I know we said, the only thing I said that we would like is a fridge higher up. Yeah, um, swap the fridge round. Yeah, not, not so much bothered about um, the, the sink. I mean, it is what it is. I think I, I read that if they did put a, a drop down sink in, you would lose- Some of the wardrobe. Yeah, some of the wardrobe. So you, if the drop down sink went there, then obviously behind it, you've got, you've got the wardrobe. Yeah. But in order to add the drop down sink, You'd lose some of that Yeah, space. you've got to have some stuff behind it, the piping and all that. So, yeah, I mean, the sink ain't in the way. Settled down for the evening now. Now we're about to watch uh, the Chinese detective. On... True detective. Sorry, the true detective. <laughs> yeah. Before my time. No, before your time. Chinese detective, it was a show on back in the, the uh, was it? 80s. Yeah. Of course, black and white. <laughs> 80s, I said, not 50s. No. We're just going to, uh, yeah, watch the true detective. Jodie Foster. Yeah. the next morning and we woke up to a bit of a gloomy day yeah i don't know what was going on with the truma last night we had it we usually have it on about 16 at night but last night for some reason we had it on 16 and it was blasting out put it on 15 blasting out put it on 14 blasting out put it on 12 freezing cold so we was waking up free either freezing cold or boiling up and we couldn't find that that medium but what i don't understand is we'd always had it on in the past since we've had this van we'd always had it on 18 at night oh 16 uh, sorry 16 at night you know in the winter but it was just throwing it out blasting it out like it was on gas but it weren't we didn't have it on mix or nothing it was on electric so let us know how you get on with your truma or if yours has been playing up because ours certainly was last night we went on a forum and we read um quite a few uh, entries that people have put on there with uh, having the same problem. All, all types of vans, new vans, older vans. But anyway, everything sorted itself out in the end. No burst pipes, as far as I know. And uh, I think the Truma was just having a bit of a moment. If you can find that perfect temperature in the evening, let me know. I'll be interested to, to know what that is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get the screen cover off now we've had a bit of uh we're just looking at the weather report and there's 60 mile an hour winds coming so um we're gonna get gone a bit sharpish i don't fancy avoiding falling trees and, and branches it's bad enough with the potholes we've got to drive through a, a pretty densely wooded area on the way home so we're gonna go now before it gets bad it's picking up already um yeah what else yeah <laughs> what a drama <laughs> it took us an hour to set up it usually takes us 10 minutes unbelievable but oh well it's all part of it i suppose thanks again for watching please subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the uh, notification bell 
for regular updates whenever we post a video. So thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon in the next video.